Hello, welcome back. Last time I did Penguin's chapter, easy mode at least. There is hard mode here. Uh, Monkey is up next, sure. So I've been real curious how this children's book aesthetic game with animals in it is going to introduce bombs. <laughs> I feel like if anyone's going to do it, it will be the monkey. But how the heck is this story going to... Ooh. Some weird texture mapping on that. Look at how, look at the way that interpolates. Kind of pinches upward a little bit in the middle. Whoops, I pressed escape one time too many and the game quits. Okay, that can happen. <laughs> Let's not worry about the uh, texture pinching, I guess. It's fine. Uh, as soon as my capture catches up, the game has started again. There it goes. Okay, monkey. One beautiful summer day, Bunny hopped over to play with his friend Monkey. Monkey commented on how gracefully Bunny hopped and how strong his legs must be. Bunny had been working on a lot of tricks and special moves, so he asked Monkey if she'd like to see some of them. Monkey, being more bored than usual, humored Bunny and said she'd be more than delighted to see his fancy moves. Bunny started with some simple jumps and then some long jumps and then double jumps and then double long jumps. Monkey applauded. Bunny's heart raced as he showed off his tricks to his friend. Next, Bunny did his bunny forward roll, bunny side roll, and bunny back roll. Monkey applauded more. Now Bunny started to try to do his trickiest tricks possible in order to impress Monkey. He did his forward flip. Then again. Then he did his backward flip. Then again. Monkey applauded even louder. Bunny would have to pull out his newest, hardest trick ever to try to really impress Monkey. What Bunny didn't realize was that the more tricks he did, the faster his heart raced, the bigger his ego got, and the more worn out his muscles became. Bunny couldn't stop now. He had an audience. He was a star. For the finale, Bunny would try his hardest trick ever. He did a super jump on top of a log, and then another super jump double flip off the log. And then everything went crazy. Bunny's paws flailed in every direction. In what seemed like slow motion, the tangled mess of white fur crashed to the ground. Bunny limped all the way home with a broken foot. He had to stay in bed for over a week while Mama nursed his foot back to health. Oh no! <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, had some serious problems here. And... The monkey just was kind of there. So, um, nothing about bombs. No, this is buttons. Okay. All right. Not what I suspected. Um, press button, posts go down. Oh, okay. But it has to stay depressed. Got it. Okay. So it looks like this is what it's going to take. Sure. What's wrong? Oh, that. Okay. Uh, let's do this differently then. So this actually goes here. Oops. Uh, yes. No, no. Uh, right. I want that. There we go. Woo! Green thingies. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so how to tell these two elements apart. This is the one that has the indentation in the middle of the circle. This one's just a smooth uh, sphere-looking thing. Okay. Bunk. So swap yellow and purple. Sounds simple. Probably won't be entirely... Might be entirely. Uh, and end up inside. What? How? Uh, let's find out what happens if I... do this. Okay, what I need. Got it. Um, actually, from here, I can get to the end state. It probably said something about this in help. Oh. <laughs> uh, that trapdoor dropping noise almost made me feel like I, I had hit like a lose condition or something, but no. Uh, things can move over this and hold it down. Okay, help doesn't say. Just got to discover it myself. That's the purpose of that level. Okay, so hold down one and you hold down either all of them or all that are contiguous. Probably just all of them. Ah, and I can hop up on... T oh, I gotta press both at once. I see. So I'm ending here. There's no getting around that. Was that sound used in Jump Teddy? 
That sounds awfully familiar to me. I feel like it might have been. Okay, so this is held even though the button's not. Um, by leaving that there, I'm fine to do this. By doing this, I'm still on it, so it's fine. Okay, cool. All right. Um, okay, one button. All right, I'm ending here. Am I? I'm not so sure about that. I think I'm going to do this. Neat. Yes, okay, so that does hold down all posts at the same time. No, I think what makes more sense than ending there is to bring this in here. There is enough room to do all these maneuvers. Uh, there is enough room to do all these maneuvers. Bring that back out, bring this in here, and then I can end in the... Oh, shoot. Um, not quite. If I go in here at any point with the posts up, then I'm just stuck. I don't think there's any way I'm rolling this ball into that. So the problem with my plan here is that I can't push that south without moving the ball. I was going to put that on there. Yeah, in this configuration I can't use this to stop this in here without losing it. Uh, what if I park this like there? Well, then the posts would be up. Like at some point this has to happen. I'm not sure what's the last thing to happen. Nothing can turn this corner, so this box is going no farther north than that. It will have to be on that goal at some point. I think I see what makes sense. Here we go. Uh, uh, almost. Yeah, this works. This works. This works. Okay. That's everything I need. I can do this now. Things will stay up. I can put this in here. Things will stay as they are. And then I push this. There we go. And the bunny ends up in its goal too, on the button. All right. So you're holding that down. As soon as you move, they pop up and the terrain changes substantially. I am forced to do that shortly. It looks like the most advantageous way to do that is like this. Yeah, I still agree with that. I can hop on here and... Oh, I see what I want. There we go. Cool. It's raining. <laughs> very, very organized rain. Uh... Okay, trapdoors for getting back out, sure. But what about this carrot? So other than that carrot, everything here is straightforward. I'm going to have to... T I, yeah, I might be able to take a box out with me. That's the only way anything's going to get done. I can end here. That's fine. I can end there. That's fine. I can end there. Uh, I will need to drop that. There's no hurry. But there's also no reason not to. Okay, because I'm done with the puzzle now. Neat. 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 Everything's going fine. I win. Scholar. Uh, tree. Not relevant to the puzzle yet. It's just another wall at this point until I get bombs. <laughs> so funny that those are in this game. Uh, okay, so I spot a pattern. Um, 
Buttons all the way over there. My goal is to get the box there, and that's the only thing. There's... It's weird to me that there's a tree here. I don't think it's relevant to the puzzle. But I do note that it is there. Um, that's not what I want. This might be? Not quite. I want to get the box here. So that I can press that, step on, push it south... Then what? No, 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 I see what I need. I need the contiguous path that never forces me to cross more than one tile at a time, and that path is this one. Okay, got it. So I need it here. Okay, uh, I need it there. I'm not sure how I'll get it there, though. So it's got like a pre-Sokoban puzzle to get this out, which I think doesn't involve anything more than this. Mm-hmm. Bonk. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so as long as I keep this chain going and never cross more than one grass tile at a time, everything works. Bunny's trapped, but he wins and therefore is able to break into another dimension and get to another puzzle. <laughs> uh, okay. Trap door next to button, what's that even mean? Two cyan goals. This puzzle just isn't really parsing for me. Um, these exist, why? What am I doing? Uh, okay, what do I think goes where? It looks very unlikely that I'll get the ball here. So box probably goes there. What's the official name of these things? Let me call them by the right name. Block and ball. Okay, that's, that's what they are. <laughs> I had them right. Oh, hey. Hmm, all progress and checkpoints are wiped out when I go to the map. Good to know. I haven't used this feature, like, at all yet, uh, except by accident and that one time to test something. Um, that's fine. Uh, the way this contour is done, this looks like a very, very skinny bunny. Like, that's its entire ribcage there. Like, I get why that's done for the for the contour of the, the leg there, but still. Uh, what am I doing? Is there a way these can play a role? I don't know. Before I do anything, let's just try this and see what it feels like. Okay, if I could have put this here while that was pressed, I can't. If I could have, though, it would have been nice. Uh, boink. That's obviously not what I want. Nothing is obviously what I want. I can do stuff like this while the posts are up. It doesn't look beneficial to me. What's my end state? Well, one possible one would be block here, ball here, push south. That's what looks simplest from where I am, but there's like all of this level that is not involved with that. There was, at the very least, like the first ice level had some non-relevant level geometry in it, so it's not unheard of for that to be a thing. But this all seems very deliberate to me. Hmm. So, trap 
or ensures that I can only really push one thing in here, I guess. This alcove ensures it can't be the ball. So I have to deal with rolling behavior. There are no spots where a wall or wall-like object is adjacent to a post. There's no, there's no way I can interact with the ball while I'm on the switch, so it's going to have to be this. Okay, so what I desire is to get this down into this row because it's never going to rest on the posts because while this button is pressed, I, but I can come back out here, but there are no walls next to it. So once I've done this, I can toggle back and forth all I want. Okay, I'm starting to see something almost. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, perfect, I did it. <laughs> uh, that's not at all what I wanted. Let's do this. Having done that lets me push this here, which looks like it might be an important spot. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, that's all I needed. Okay. <laughs> you get all that? <laughs> I was speaking my own language there. Everybody speaks that language. It's a universal language of grunts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I did it. Neat. Okay, Scholar. Right, still. Uh, this one's shaped like a tree, but it doesn't have a tree in it. Or it could be a mushroom, or a flower, or what's it look like in the thumbnail? Nothing, really. Uh... Okay, this goes here. For that, something has to rest on the switch. So one of these balls has to get onto the switch. First, it has to get off of the... there. Um, that already looks like a problem to me. Yeah, because in order to... oh wait, hang on. Um, Yeah, yeah, that's a problem. In order to get a ball into this row at rest, either I'd have to push it here, which is impossible, or uh, from the north at least, or I would have to bop it against a box, which traps the box on this row. It can never go any farther north than that once that's done. So if I'm going to do that, I'd better be prepared with both of these balls. But how are they going to get to their goals? Okay. Um, the chain of thinking I was following was that I would have one of these stationary on the switch while I push this south. Even that's kind of tricky, because if I push one onto the switch, then it blocks me from pushing this south. Okay, this is a nasty little traffic jam area here. I mean, everything is super cramped in this level. Working in uncomfortable tight spaces. So the simple way to get one of those to the goal is just this, like that, uh, yes, that, that part's not actually that hard. Now remember, posts can be weighed down. Okay, so that's probably what I actually want to do. I want to have a ball on here or here. Right, I just momentarily forgot that that was a mechanic. So to do that... Hmm. 
Hmm. To do that. How would I? Yeah, so I'm, I have a clearer vision of my end state. It involves ball on... I guess technically it could be here or here also, if the other one is at its goal. I have two of them. They're going to have to interfere with each other somehow, I suspect. And probably that will involve some of this. Yeah, that's starting to look plausible. Actually, it's looking better than plausible. Uh, oh, no, never mind. Nope, still don't see it. Like, I'd, I'd like to push that west, but with this up, so there's no space for me to stand. I wonder if I manage to do that, these would probably pop up before that rolled onto here, so that would do what I wanted. Like, if, if I could teleport Bunny onto here and hold that down, that's presumably what would happen. Was there an intermediate state where one of those was on a post or able to get onto it? Nuh-uh. There was not. So there's also the option of this and this. Seems like a bad one. Or does it? Maybe not as bad as I thought, because now I can do this. Uh, yes. Okay, so I got a ball onto a post. That's cool. Now you're in a bad... Oh, but I have a box to assist with stuff like this. Oh, here we go. This all worked out. Neat. I couldn't see it until I was almost there, but I think I got it. Cool. Now that's an end state. I win! Those flowers are flying all over the place. Yeah, so those effects eventually terminate if I get, give them enough time. Pig story is next. Uh... Whoa, okay, no, that's just the very bottom of the screen. It doesn't, I keep, some of these are large enough that I think they're going to scroll, but no, nothing, nothing scrolls, at least not yet. Maybe it will eventually. Probably not. Uh, okay, red ball. Has to get there? So I will have to have the yellow box he here, but that already, or a cyan one, maybe. Okay, that seems like less of a problem. I think I can get the red ball just straight to the goal without too much issue. By doing this. Problem, I'm not to the south of it. I can fix that. Uh... Hold up, there's no cyan goal, I note. Okay, so I have to leave this on a post or a button so that I can go in there and eat that carrot. Uh, by putting this here and the... Oh, wait, no. Oh, boy. All right, I think this goes all the way here, actually. That looks like a problem. <laughs> ah. 
That's a lot going on here. Something has to stay in this plus shape. It's probably going to have to be yellow for now. Okay, plausible. Still plausible. Then yellow can be the... No. Cyan's gonna have to be the backstop for the ball. Yellow just needs to get out of there. That's all fine so far. Yellow does need to end up in here at some point. That part doesn't seem like much of a problem. This feels like the right sequence of events so far. Uh, problem. Two of them. Okay, I pushed the ball the wrong way. That makes more sense. Now does this fix my problems? Does this all undo in one unit? Yes. And yet it counts as multiple moves. <laughs> undo is complicated. Uh, I didn't push that far enough. Oh, <laughs> I went there and bonked into the wall. So far this looks fine. I am not... Okay, well, now that's a slight problem, but fixable with that. Alright, do I have any problems here? Oops. I might not. I need to rejiggle that. And then that can just be its final resting place. And okay, I am done. Neat. Alright, that was perfectly doable. Zoom. There we go. I win. Okay, cool. Uh, that was monkey. Not so bad, ultimately. Um, yeah, I think I'm good for the day. I'm getting warmer. Or, well, the color is getting cooler. <laughs> I'm filling up this. Okay, so this, it's kind of neat to have, like, a big visible on-screen bar of my overall progress. Like, I know exactly how much game there is left to do with this. One, two, three, four, five. Five ticks plus two puzzles. Okay, yeah, so that gives me a puzzle count then. So each tick is ten puzzles. All right, and there are... Uh, just eyeballing it, looks like it's about 200 puzzles. That was the number I thought I knew. That seems to add up. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yeah, sure. Assuming this thing doesn't overflow or anything. And okay, yeah, so I've done 52. That's, that's my number, 52 out of 200. All right, uh, see you next time for Pig's Story.